Hi, hello. This is Anup here. And in this video, we are going to see how to create a Windows Virtual Desktop host pool from Azure portal, right? So this has been changed recently. Um, they have updated the template. I think WVD is going to be GA soon. That is why now the templates are getting aligned with all the other templates, right? So this is good news for WVD. Okay, let's fill in all the details, host pool and all the other details. Uh, let's go through the wizard. WVD management plane is still in US so select the VM configurations I'm going to select uh, D sized VM if you know what what is D sized VM in Azure so let's check that out <laughs> Let's select the default image from the template, default template. Multi-user with Office 365. Uh, now we need to provide the domain join account details, right? And OU, which you want to, which OU you want to place the computer object in your active directory it's, so it's going to the validation and validation got failed yeah I know the reason <laughs> this is because I have not provided the prefix yeah so let me provide that let's do the validation again okay it's got completed now we are going to create the host pool by clicking on create button okay it started creating it's going to take some time probably 10 to 15 minutes sometimes I think this template is much quicker than the previous one. The previous one was taking like around 20 25 minutes. This this new template to create host pool is taking less time and it's more efficient I would say. Might complete within got completed within 15 minutes or so in this case. So our, my host, host pool is ready. Now I just wanted to add a user or assign a user to that particular host pool or application. Let's refresh the client. Or update the client so now it will appear the new host pool will appear okay as you can see the new host pool is there now so let's launch it you put in your password as you ready username and password Okay, that's cool. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.
If you like the video, click on like button. If you don't like the video, click on unlike button. See you next time. Bye-bye.